And thanks to the surge in demand for baby formula in China, the world's dairy producers are reaping the benefits. And that's good news for the U.S. city of Fallon in Nevada. Mark New has the details. In the western Nevada city of Fallon, population 8,500, agriculture drives the economy. But the past five years have been a struggle for dairy farmers like Pete Olson, as milk consumption in America steadily declines. We scratched and struggled, managed to stay alive till now. Olson is now excited about the future, especially after having visited stores in China and seeing milk from his cows on the shelves there for the very first time. To see that product on a, a shelf in Walmart in Shanghai and stand back and watch consumers come up, look at it and buy it, so it was pretty exciting. Been a boon for our community and for our dairy community and given a long-term lease on life. In April, Fallon's new $85 million plant began producing dehydrated milk powder, almost exclusively for Chinese markets. At full capacity, this plant will produce approximately 250,000 pounds of whole milk powder daily. That's enough to fill up 4 million 8-ounce glasses of milk. The plant is a one-of-a-kind facility in the U.S where 19 dairy farms from Fallon, along with others from California, deliver milk here. The product is rigorously tested for antibiotics, while lactose, protein, and fat levels are checked to be consistent in every bag. Dairy Farmers of America's Jay Waldvogel helped bring about the deal with the Chinese dairy companies, which includes one of the country's biggest, Ely Group. So China's embraced the power of the nutrition of dairy. Uh, they understand what it does for the population in terms of, of quality nutrition. At the same time, the U.S. is this spectacular ability to produce lots of volume of high-quality milk. And it was inevitable that, that we'd come together. Now, inevitable it ends up in Fallon, Nevada. That would probably be a bit of a stretch. Fallon's Director of Economic Development, Bob Shriver, says 45 new well-paid jobs have been created by the plants, but that indirectly it could lead to even more jobs that support the ecosystem. A community this size of eight, under 9,000, supplying a, uh, that size population with a product, uh, that, that kind of brings home that story about the global economy and how it impacts small communities. It surprised a lot of people. Uh, you mean all of this product is going to China primarily? And we go, yeah, 98% of it will be going to China. But for farmers like Pete Olson, there's no time to rest. He says this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity and that gaining the trust of the Chinese consumer is everything. Mark New, CCTV, Fallon, Nevada.